Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Um, this video was mainly for people in the Telegram chat, um, however the video wasn't sending so I've decided to make a short YouTube video um, and I'll also make it for you guys as well on YouTube. Um, we sent the signal for PoundCAD buy uh, two days ago. Um, we're still holding the trade and expect to hold it uh, for another week maybe. Uh, so 5 to 1 risk reward, target 576 pips. Um, this is a pre-recorded video so I'm just going to annotate uh, with my voice um, exactly what I'm doing on the charts. Um, so currently I'm just finding areas of key support and resistance where price is congested um, and pivoted quite a lot. We're on the weekly time frame um, and I'm currently looking for a buy zone so I'm just highlighting these areas in green for you um, just so you can see what I'm looking for and why I've, labeled out, uh, why I've marked out this zone. Uh, so we have another zone just there, one more here and there are a few more um, zones that I can see which I didn't mark out. Um, and this is also uh, trading with no trend lines. This is just pure price action off uh, weekly levels. So currently the market uh, has a huge bearish engulfing candle on the weekly time frame. Um, people, I don't know, it depends uh, on how you're trading, but a lot of people would be looking to sell. Um, they'll be seeing a uh, rising wedge and they're anticipating a break to the downside. However, um, once we marked up our zone, you can see that price has tested it um, almost to a T. We're currently on daily time frame. I've marked out my resistance, um, an area which is is uh, a good area uh, for me to exit the market. I know that price hasn't tested this area and that there's still a few orders that need to be uh, filled. So we're waiting, we're anticipating price to move up to the, uh, that level. I've also just marked out uh, my bank level as well which is uh, it's coming out as 1.77 flat and now that's just giving me a good indication that price could move to that area so I'm just marking out the zone where I think it's going to go to I'm just anticipating a pullback as well on a shorter time frame so I want to squeeze out the best entry um, that I possibly can before I send the signal um, this will also be taken on account management as well so just looking here, I'm probably just scanning around, <laughs> looking, seeing if I can find areas where the market's going to pull back to before big impulsive moves are made. So here I can find one, you can see it's been tested uh, one, two, three times. Um, and the move prior to the break, you can see that price literally tapped this zone and the rally uh, begun. So I'm anticipating the same move to happen again um, as price failed to reach that level of supply that we were looking at. So my target's gonna extend up to here. We can push it to 1.77, but we're just gonna play it safe and just uh, TP just before that level there. Um, now this might seem like a really long target to some people, it might seem just um, too long to hold. But if you wanna get consistent, you want the best risk reward, and you want to um, basically be profitable, then this, this is a way for me to trade. Um, and it's the best way because you just leave the trades running. Um, which is ideal for me and you don't really have to check up, up on them too much and it also works quite well uh, for signals because uh, if you're sending out a lot of signals a day people can't get in on them uh, for work. Okay so this is the current trade running um, as mentioned uh, we took the trade on the weekly time frame um, and then we broke it down to the lower time frames. Uh, we can, um, I'm basically just trying to show you guys exactly how I'm trading this um, and what I'm looking for when I'm trading because uh, everyone just keeps asking like uh, how, you know how you're taking these trades on longer time frames. Um, so I absolutely just look at the weekly, get to the daily, go to four hour, one hour, 15 minute for the entry and this way you can squeeze the best possible return. Um, everyone in the signals group is currently up 172 pips. Uh, we've got to get to 576 uh, to complete uh, TP. We're currently um, at uh, aiming for a 5 to 1. So I was just checking someone over here. Um, but basically what I'm looking at, areas where I might be nervous, we're currently at 1 right now. And once we breach this level, then we can be sure uh, that price will continue to extend upwards. Um, however, if the daily begins to close below here, we might possibly close out for the weekend, um, depending on how the market moves. Um, this trade will be moved to a break-even um, and be sent into the signals group to move to a break-even. So this will be a risk-free trade and we basically just trail each um, move all the way up, uh, basically chasing the higher lows and just placing our stop 
underneath them. Um, so this is currently uh, the trade that uh, is running now. I'll show the entry that we got on the hour charts as well, um, which is pretty much just like this, exactly what I wanted, a move, a pullback, and then basically the pop off. Um, I'll also show you another trade that I took um, exactly like this. Um, I was on Eurosus Frank, um, has a trend line break retest. Uh, we haven't really retested it perfectly, but uh, for me it was good enough. Um, so we had a nice support and trend line here, broke the trend line, pulled back, drew up my zones on the weekly, and then I broke it down to a daily, um, drew up my zones again, and then we got down to the four hour chart. This was the entry sent into the signals group. Uh, we're currently 72 pips in profit, still holding this trade, expecting price to reach this level, um, as this level has been tested numerous, uh, numerous times here. Um, it just seems like an area of prices likes to pull back to. Even um, here, we've got nice areas of support. You can see that uh, the way price moves, it will tend to um, come down, test the area, pull back a bit, and then continue to move down. So I'm not too worried about this. This is a risk-free trade. Um, we've told everyone to move the stop loss to break even, so this is risk-free. Um, I'll just give you guys some examples of um, other trades I've taken. Um, this four hour candle, probably expecting this just, it's wicked up and probably expect it just to wick down and come through. If this uh, level would have held, it would have held um, by now, but price has breached it. Um, it's taken out this pool and people are basically just anticipating another sell off. Probably see today close around here, maybe here. Um, we are trading uh, on a Friday, um, but I'm just gonna leave it with that. As always, if you want signals, just message uh, the number in the description below. If you're after account management, uh, where we manage people's money, the minimum investment is £3,000. It's with a London FCA regulated broker. Uh, minimum investment, 3000 Maximum investment, whatever you like. Um, we have uh, numerous clients coming in at different levels. If you'd like to invest small, you're welcome to invest small. If you'd like to invest larger amounts, then you're more than welcome to. Um, and yeah, I and mean, then if you just WhatsApp the numbers, there's two different numbers. I will uh, label which numbers for signals, which numbers for account management. Um, if you'd like either of those, let's go into the description below. Um, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day anyway, and I'll probably uh, touch base with you guys soon.